Hey guys, welcome back to the Maga YouTube channel. This video we've got a new light from Hortobloom. It's the Evo 720 and it's got a few interesting features as you can see. Let's take a closer look. The first thing that strikes you about this fixture out of the box is it's got these adjustable um, LED bars at the end for adjusting the spread of the fixture. And these have two um, adjustments uh, possible with them. First one is you can uh, slide these bars in and out from the main frame. So basically uh, increase the whole width of the fixture. And then you can tilt these outer bars as well, uh, enabling you to adjust the spread, make a more intense and focused power um, delivery or broaden it out and widen it out for, um, for lower power intensity applications. Another noticeable feature of this light is that it has acrylic covers over the LEDs. These hardened covers protect the LEDs from dirt and dust and getting any physical damage. They do reduce the light output very slightly, um, but uh, given that this is a, a fixture targeted at the commercial area, they're really looking at having the best rating and lifespan for the, uh, for the light fixture. The LEDs themselves, are all white LEDs. They are a mixture of, I think, 3K and 5K color temperature Samsung LM281Bs, excellent um, LEDs. And um, you can see here that I tested with the spectral radiometer, got a full spectrum output suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. In terms of controls, the driver here is mounted on the back of the fixture with um, a nice long power cable about 10 foot or three and a half meters long. Driver has adjustment for dimming, which you can increase and decrease in 20% incre increments from 20 up to 100%. And you've also got the Daisy Jane or J network connections for connecting and controlling multiple units simultaneously or using an external controller. So next I set up the light for test. I put it into the specified four foot by four foot area or 1.2 by 1.2 meters um, test area with silver mylar walls um, to replicate a grow tent environment and dropped the fixture down to the hang height recommended by the manufacturer, which is two foot or 60 centimeters over the test area. Then took 64 power measurements with the spot on quantum sensor across the target area which of course represents the plant canopy to determine the total, the average and total amount of power reaching that plant canopy uh, and therefore calculating the total output from power output from the system. So the uh, wattage was 720.3 watts. The average power across the four by four was 955 micromoles and Taking the whole power output or delivered to the plant canopy divided by the wattage, this gives this fixture a system efficiency of 1.91 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt. So overall, it's a really robust fixture, uh, nicely built, got this uh, flexibility in terms of using these wings to adjust the light spread over, as I said, a more compact or a wider area, depending on your application. And um, yeah, nice output, nice efficiency, nice uh, protection over the LEDs to make it a really robust fixture. And yeah, congratulations to Horty Bloom on the new Evo 720. Any questions or comments, please leave them, please leave them below. We'll get back as soon as we can. Take care.